Can you spray paint furniture? Yep, you can. Today I'm sharing how to and what you can expect. All right, here's the dresser we're working on today. It has oak veneer on it, so I'm going to have to address that before I spray paint it. I'll show you what I mean in a second. First, we cleaned all of the dust, oils, and grime off of the dresser with some crud cutter and a damp rag. We clean every single piece before we paint so that the paint will stick to the furniture better. And then we filled the wood grain. If your furniture doesn't have deep wood grain like this oak does, then you can just skip this step. I mixed some water into some spackling to thin it out, and then this time I tried to roll it on with a foam roller. Usually I just brush it on brushing against the grain so that the spackling gets into the wood grain. I honestly think that the brush works so much better overall, but the roller was faster. We're basically just looking to fill in the deep wood grain. Since we're spraying the paint on, the paint won't actually get into the deep wood grain and you'll be left with black spots wherever the wood grain is. When you brush or roll paint on, it pushes the paint into the wood grain, but when you spray paint it, it just sits on top and it doesn't get into the wood grain. After everything was covered with spackling, I let it dry for about an hour and a half. And then my husband sanded the spackling down while I took the kids to swim lessons. He used 220 grit sandpaper and a fine grit foam pad on the curves. And then he sanded off all of the dust with our shop vac. Check out all of these white lines. That's all of the deep oak wood grain that we filled in. Then we hung a plastic sheet from the wall and laid some plastic on the floor and we put the dresser up on some five gallon buckets. I probably should have put more plastic over things in our garage because honestly the overspray settled on a lot of things by the time I was done with this project. And then I put the drawers back in the dresser and taped off the drawers so the spray paint wouldn't get inside the drawers or on the side of the drawers. I like to use pre-taped plastic to protect the drawers. Then I wiped the dresser off with a tack cloth to get any remaining dust off of the surface. And then I sprayed a light coat of the 123 Zinsser Primer all over the dresser. I held the can of spray paint probably what, like 10 inches away, and then I worked quickly so I sprayed only a thin coat of primer. I typically prime with something that has shellac in it because shellac blocks bleed through stains from coming through the paint. But this 123 primer that is in the spray can version is an oil-based primer and oil-based products will block bleed through too. And this primer is cheaper than bin shellac primer. Both options though are great for helping paint stick and they both help with coverage. After the primer was dry, I could clearly see that I didn't fill all of the wood grain in enough. Do you see all of those dark lines and specks? That's the wood grain that didn't get filled all the way. If I hadn't tried to fill it all before, I would have had those dark lines going everywhere. So I filled the wood grain in with some more thinned out spackling and let it dry again. When that was dry, check this out. Do you see all of those orange spots? That is what bleed through is. It clearly shows up where I put water-based spackling into the deep wood grain. The water-based product brought out the tan and bleed through and brought out the stains. Anytime you use water-based products on wood, you are likely to get bleed through stains. Now that I've brought out the bleed through, I have to block it with more oil-based or shellac-based product. So I sanded the spackling down, cleaned it off, and then sprayed another coat of primer to make sure I wouldn't have bleed through issues with the paint. I also opened the drawers a bit so I could spray the tops and the sides of the drawer fronts with primer. All of this priming used about two and a half cans of primer. An hour later, the primer felt dry and it looked like the primer blocked the stains, but the surface felt a little bit gritty, so I sanded the primer to smooth it out. But since I used oil-based primer, the primer wasn't really dry and it gummed up the sandpaper. That's a major downside of oil-based primer if you ask me. It takes a really long time for it to dry. 
Shellac-based primers dry very quickly and you can sand them soon after without the sandpaper gumming up. I just did the best that I could and I cleaned all of the dust up again. All right, now for the spray paint. I used Bare Spray Paint because it was one of the best spray paints in my little spray paint comparison test. I shook the can really well and then I sprayed a thin coat of paint all over. I held the can probably 10 inches away and went back and forth decently quickly. I didn't want to get any drips because this paint says that you need to recoat within an hour or you have to wait like 24 hours. An hour is not enough time for it to dry to the point that I could sand it because this is an oil-based paint. I ended up spraying three coats, waiting maybe 30 to 40 minutes for it to dry between coats. Each coat took maybe 10 minutes to spray. So I was painting and then taking a break, painting, taking a break, doing that over and over for a couple of hours. And it only took about two and a half cans of spray paint too. All right, real quick, the next day I tried to attach some really cool legs to the bottom of the dresser. I had to attach some wood blocks and I thought it would work, but when we moved the dresser into our house and we had to tip the dresser on its side, the screws fell out of the particle board area. Since it's particle board, they just weren't really very secure. And I honestly just didn't have it in me to figure out another way to get the legs attached better. I was kind of on a deadline, so I removed them and just decided that this makeover wasn't going to have them. I'll use them on another makeover that's better suited for them. All right, before I share what this dresser looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We really appreciate your love and support, so thank you so much. So here is what it looked like before, and here is what it looks like now. What do you think of the new look? All right, overall, the actual spray painting wasn't bad at all. Filling the wood grain was annoying, but that doesn't really need to happen with every piece of furniture. I'm personally the most annoyed though that the sheen isn't consistent. I used gloss paint and I shook the paint really well before painting and then while we painted. But in the right lighting, some areas are very glossy looking and others barely have any sheen. I'm sure that I missed something, I'm just not sure what. As far as durability, it is very durable. Three days after painting the last coat, I scratched at it and it did not scratch off at all. There's basically no texture, so that's a huge plus. So if you just wanna paint one piece of furniture and wanna do it fairly quickly, using spray paint is a great option. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments.